This presentation will overview how data is gathered and reported in Literacy Pro for administrators, that is, the whole school view. When a school first logs into Literacy Pro, or at the beginning of a new school year, the administrator's home page shows no data. Data will gradually accumulate as students do the Literacy Pro test and quizzes. This is the view of an administrator's homepage after just one student has taken the test and done three quizzes. After students in Year 3 and Year 4 have completed some tests and taken some quizzes, the data gradually accumulates. And each time the administrator logs in, the data will be updated. As you can see here in this example, now Year 5 has been added. And now Year 6. The data is refreshed regularly. So if it doesn't appear immediately, just wait a few minutes. The administrator's homepage summarises the key metrics for the whole school. It is the average of all Lexiles, the average quiz score, the total number of quizzes taken, the average quiz pass rate, and total words read. There are also two key reports on the home page, the expected growth report and reading proficiency report. Now we'll take a look at the reports in detail. To access the reports, click on the Reports tab, and then you may access multiple reports at several levels. The administrator has access to whole school reports by year level. Then there are year level reports from the drop down menu. class reports and individual student reports called the reading report card. You may access these from a drop-down class list or you may type in a student name and search and select the student you want to view. The heading tells you what level of report you are in and to get back to the school level report you may always click at the top of the student list. Now we'll take a look at each individual report starting with the Lexile Growth Report. The reports all default to the current school year. Click on View Report and you will be given an overview year by year of the Lexile growth and the school average. Because this is a beginning of year report and there are no second tests that have been taken, so far there is no growth. You may also view the data in the table and you may export or print the report and close. If you have historical Literacy Pro data, you may view this data by accessing it through the drop down menu. Choose the school year, view report, and in this report you can actually see the growth that has occurred at each year level for a full school year. Once again, you may view it as a table or export, print and close. The grade or year level reports compare classes in the same year level. 
Use the drop down menu. Select the year you want. Then, for the current year, view the report. You may also view it as a table, export and print it. And if you have Historical Literacy Pro data for a year level, you may choose the year and view that report. To view the Lexile growth of students in a class, select the class, then view the report. Students are listed by name and also in a table. If you view the class report for the previous year, remember these were the students who were in that class in that particular calendar year. You may have to scroll down to see a complete list of all students. And of course they're also listed in the table view. At the student level, Lexile growth is listed in more than one way. Select the student and at the top of the reading report card you will find the growth for the current year. In this case, because only one test has been taken, there's no growth recorded. However, there is historical data available. Scroll down until you get to the Student Lexile History Report. The report automatically defaults to the current year, but you may also view historical data. From the drop-down menu, select View All Years, then view the report. This gives you the student's development in Lexile measures over time. When administrators view the Lexile growth report, it shows a comparison between the first test of the year and the most recent. But what it doesn't show is what other students for the same year level are actually achieving as the average end of year Lexile. This research-based normal data is actually shown in the Lexile Compared to Norm report. If you view the report, you will see that the green bar for each year level is what is called the end of year average Lexile. The normal data was gathered by Metametrics, the research company behind the Lexile framework. It was based on gathering data from more than half a million US students. This type of data is not available in Australia due to privacy laws. The data was considered valid for Australian use due to the similarity between the school systems, the year levels at which students are at school and the multicultural mix of both countries. The year level Lexile compared to norm report, accessed through the drop down menu, shows the comparison between each class and the end of year norm for that year level. The class level report shows how each student is tracking currently in comparison to the end of year Lexile for that year level. But what growth are students expected to show? This is shown in the expected Lexile growth report. This report uses data once again gathered by Metametrics on over 365,000 students. The data gathered compared the beginning of year Lexile with the end of year Lexile by students and their year level. When you view the report, you will see that it includes the current average Lexile, the expected end of year Lexile based on Metametrics research, 
and the normal Lexile for the end of year for that year level. The expected end of year Lexile is calculated from the first Lexile test taken by the students in a cohort at the beginning of that year. The year level view of the report shows the data by class. In this example, it can be seen that class 3A is expected to exceed the end of year norm. Class 3B is not expected to. Using the table view, you can actually see the class 3A should exceed by 75 and class 3B will be about 61 short. The other thing that the table view shows is that class 3B is expected to grow more in Lexiles than class 3A. This is what Metametrics found in their research, that the lower the Lexile students start, the greater the growth is likely to be in any particular year. The expected growth report by class and student shows the student's current Lexile compared to their expected end of year Lexile based on the first Lexile test of the year. As you can see, some students are expected to show relatively small growth, while the expected growth of students starting on lower Lexiles is larger. Based on a student's Lexile, how proficient are they to read the books that they're expected to read for their year level? Once again, Metametrics did research. This data is reported in the Benchmark tab. What it shows is that students to be proficient readers for their year level need to read in a range. These books cover textbooks, novels, non-fiction and regular books that students are expected to read in the classroom for all subject areas. For example, in Year 4, students are expected to read between 600 and 900 to be proficient readers of the texts they're expected to read. Basic readers, reading 350 to 599, are likely to struggle with some of those texts. And below basic readers will struggle even more. Knowing a student's reading proficiency by looking at the proficiency report helps schools understand whether they need to support or extend their readers. In this school, about half the students are proficient or advanced readers. However, about 40% of readers are basic and so are likely to struggle with some of the texts that they're expected to read at their year level. And 10% are below basic. These students are definitely going to need extra support. Administrators may also view this report as a graph. It shows distribution, but also the mix of proficiencies year by year. The report by class and student also shows the mix, distribution, and identifies each student in their proficiency band. There are two other whole school reports for administrators. The book comprehension report, which shows the average comprehension by year level and the quiz pass rate report, which shows the percentage of quizzes that are being passed when they're attempted by year level. At the class level, there are two more extra reports. First of all, there is the class Lexile History Report. 
click View Report, and you will see a list of all students in the class and their Lexiles. If you go back to the year before, you can see that multiple test dates are recorded with the Lexile growth as well. The other class report is the class reading report card. This report lists for all students their Lexile, their growth and other key metrics including quizzes passed, the average score, the words read, points earned and so on. The class reading report card displays historical data differently to other reports. Instead of reporting the students that were in the same class last year, it actually records the key data for students who are in the current class and how they performed last year. The student's individual reading report card holds all the key metrics for that one student. Here you may view their last test. You may print it or just wish to review it. Also, Lexile history that we've already discussed, but also the list of books that have been read and quizzes attempted. You may also choose to view a student's quiz. Returning to the home page, remember every time an administrator logs in, they'll find the key metrics and reports updated.